Active Investor here bringing you another independent analysis. This time we're taking a look at ticker symbol TSRO. That's Tessero Incorporated. The chart we're looking at today is a five minute chart. Each candlestick on this chart is going to be representing five minutes of trading. We go back to the pre market and the trading period for today. So this is a very intraday chart with focus specifically on all the action that happened today. And as you guys know, TSRO had an amazing day, closed up 108%. Closed yesterday around $37.20. And then it actually ran all the way, opened at about 68.79, had a high of the day, running to 80.69, closed at 77.40. So absolutely insane day for TSRO. And this is going to be an analysis specifically discussing a potential swing trade. Now this kind of reminded me of Nerve, if you guys remember NERV a month or two ago. I don't remember the exact time, but it had a similar story ran huge and uh, it actually held its levels pretty nicely. So what I'm expecting uh, TSRO to do, what I'm hoping it's going to do, you know, two things obviously. As a short-term trader, I will be happy if I can day trade this tomorrow, but if it doesn't if it doesn't trend up and it doesn't give us day trading opportunities, I will also be happy if it dips because this could be a very nice potential swing trade. So let's take a look at the levels that we have here on the chart. First one being the bottom, which is $60.50. It's gonna be this area right here. Let's change that a little bit. There we go. $60.50. Next level we're gonna take a look at is gonna be $70 even. And right above that is going to be $74.45. Two more to go. The next one on the way up is going to be $78.03. And finally, we have $80 flat. All right, so those are the main pivot points. So for this thing to break out tomorrow, we're obviously gonna need to break above 78.03 and above $80. Now we did break above $80 a few times today. Remember this is a five minute chart, so we broke above 80 for a few candles here on the one minute, and we briefly broke above it here as well, but we could not hold above $80. So definitely couldn't hold those levels today, but it's gonna give us a potential breakout for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But I'm leaning more towards that potential swing trade. So I would like to see the price actually come down a bit. And ideally it will come down past 74.45 to right around $60.56. So we'll need to break 74.45 and break $70. Forgot to mention that one. And then we'll come to 60.56. So I'm gonna have an alert set, you know, right around 60.56 and of course 70, just so I know what the action is. But if we get to $60.56, I think there's a decent chance that we can get a bounce from here. And that'll give us a potential swing trade back on up to right around $80. And if we don't get to $80, that's fine too. 60.56 to 70 or to 74.45 or even 78.03, that's all a lot of really nice gains as well. So these are all potential plays that we can have a look at for our swing trade. So having alerts set here and here, keeping an eye on this throughout the week, which is only gonna be two more days. There's no trading on Monday, in case you guys didn't realize yet. I'm sure you know it's 4th of July, but the market is also going to be closed. So that's going to give us two days to trade this, and then next week we're going to open on Tuesday. So if we don't have that play on Thursday or Friday, well, it should be a nice option next week. So that's why I'm going to be watching on this stock. We can go over the indicators real quick. You can see we had the bullish cross right here on our moving averages. A nice convergence as well, and that's where we saw a lot of volatility on the price. And then our averages converge here, and then even more so right around here, and the price is pretty much just flat. Now, there was a lot of people scalping this on the channels there in the channel here, but for the most part, the volatility was pretty much all dried up besides those scalpers. And the trend is actually not quite uh, down. It really hasn't moved that much. We can take a look at the RSI to kind of get an idea. You can see these oversold, uh, these overbought points are you know, almost identical. This one's slightly lower right here, but uh, not much lower. So the trend is definitely still up a lot from where it was. And if we're, if we're gonna see a swing trade opportunity, we're gonna need to see the RSI um, come down a bit, ideally. Next time we'll go overbought 
the RSI overbought area will be there, or even better, down here. Because we want to get in low so we can swing a high. So that's what I'm going to be watching out for. If you guys have any questions about that play, feel free to post a comment below, or you can join us in our free chat room. I have a link down there at the bottom. Sign up on our website, activeinvestors.net. And yeah, you can message me on YouTube too if you like. So either way works. And let's see how this play goes down. But I'm looking forward to it. And I hope to catch you guys in the next video. Have a good one.